Good morning, dear friends. Today I am in Udine, the capital of Friuli. I will show you the beauties of this interesting city. Come with me and enjoy the video. You can arrive from Porta Aquileia and park your car in Piazza Primo Maggio, which is the biggest square in Udine. From Piazza Primo Maggio, you can walk up to the castle. The first settlements on the hill date back to the Bronze Age and continue into the Roman area. In the 6th century, the first Christian building devoted to the Virgin Mary was constructed. In 1222, the Patriarch established himself in the fortified castle, which later became the resident of the Lieutenant of the Venetian Republic in 1420. The present castle was built after the earthquake in 1511. In 1524, the lieutenant returned to his residence, whereas the Parliament Hall, the staircase of honor, the western facade and the prison were completely under the direction of Giovanni da Udine from 1547. From 1806, during the domination of the Habsburg, the castle was turned into a low court and barracks. With the advent of the Kingdom of Italy in 1866, the second entrance to the hill and the garden on the eastern side was constructed and the Church of San Rocco was demolished. Since 1906, it has been the headquarters of the civic museums. You can walk under the Bolani Arch made by the famous architect Andrea Palladio. Once down from the castle, reach Piazza Libertà, where you will find the Loggia del Lionello. The Loggia del Lionello is one of the oldest and most important historical buildings in Udine, erected in Piazza Libertà in 1441. It owes its name to Niccolò Lionello. It is characterized by the majestic structure and by the elegance of its marble. The Loggia gradually became the symbol of the city. Not far from the Loggia, there is the Cathedral of Udine, dedicated to Santa Maria Annunziata. It was started in 1236 and finished in the 16th century. It is in Romanesque style, with Latin cross shade. The interior of the cathedral is composed of three naves divided by pillars. Along each nave, there are four chapels intercommunicating, so as to simulate two other naves. The Baroque style prevails, so much so as to create a strident contrast with the Romanesque Gothic exterior. All this is due to the renovation work commissioned by the Manin family. Turning back from Piazza Libertà starts Via Mercato Vecchio, the street where the market used to take place. Today, it is a street full of stores and bars, where you can walk peacefully, admiring the beautiful buildings. From Via del Monte, a side street of Via Mercato Vecchio, you can reach Piazza Matteotti, also known as Piazza delle Erbe or Piazza San Giacomo. This square is my favorite one. As you can see, it is very beautiful and full of life, with many bars and shops and remarkable buildings overlooking the square. Look how short am I! In Udine there are also ditches with crystal clear waters. On some buildings there are the poems of famous authors, so much to call Udine city of poetry. In the square 20th September you will find the market. Not far away is the church of San Francesco, which unfortunately is difficult to find open. Udine offers many beautiful views. I cross Porta Manin and head back to Piazza Primo Maggio to see one last building. The sanctuary of the Beata Vergine delle Grazie, dated 1520. Near the church, there is the cloister. Yes, 
I hope you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the Torzeando channel and see you next time. Ciao! Mandi!